Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to search Facebook profile page. This is your Facebook profile page. You can search it for posts you've done, um, you know, just by person's name who's in your... So if you tag someone, it will find the name. If you put like, hey, like my brother Jonathan, I'd put that in there and I'd search it. Or if you want to find ones you, you were um, you like commented on or you uh, like it's your own you know so it will be it will search your profile page for these things i found it a lot easier a while back i wrote an article and did a video on how to use new facebook activity log it's a great activity logs it they kind of you had to get used to the new one so basically what i found out is that it didn't have a really good search feature that i felt like it didn't have the search box which is what i love you can search it much easier that way i found a workaround because i had a person ask me on my last video an article that how they could search by name or by a certain word to find the post they posted on their Facebook page. So I found a workaround and made it a little easier by going to search while you're on your profile page. So I'll show you how to do that with the uh, website on your laptop or computer, and I'll show you how to do that on the app. So before I move on, please hit the like button for the video. It really helps out our channel. And please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is go to Facebook.com. And we'll go there first. And now you're on Facebook. If you're not logged in, log into your account. So we want to go to our profile page. Pretty simple. You can go up to your face here and click on it. You can even go to the left side and click on this. It's both, both ways to get to your profile page. I'm just going to click on this one. And there you go. Now I'm on my profile page. I gotta change my back cover. I need, it's been there for too long. Okay, so now we want to look for the magnifying glass, which is to the right under your cover photo. And you just click on this. So now I want to search. I'm gonna search for my brother. Much easier to do that. So I'm gonna search by someone's name. So I'm gonna go, oops, I gotta spell his name. There, that's my brother. And then you just want to hit search. Search is Pro, um, for Jonathan, so I'm going to do that, and then there we go. Now it brought up the the all the posts that either I was tagged in or I posted, and it all shows up right here. He tags me in a lot of stuff, so all that pops up very easily. Now, if you look over to the left, you can you have still the search box, so you can change the search to see what else you get. Um, you can also post you've seen. So if I wanted to say, let's so I've seen these posts. That's great the most recent posts so they come up you can filter it this is a great filter system um, tagged locations the two places oh, right now I get tagged in two different places most of the time so um, that's usually right there and then you can also date posted you can do it by year so you can go all the way through all the years I've been on here which I've been here forever and do it by the year so you can search that way so we can do the filter system so I can say let's do it by 2018 and it's going to change. So now what it did is, if you notice, it will look for everything with my brother's name attached to it. So it's going to show you that. So let's see if we want to look up, uh, let's see, Christmas. Since it's that time of year where I'm writing this. So you can hit that. You can hit enter. Don't have to hit the little thing. And there you go. Anything to do with Christmas, like when I did my lights, it pops up here. Then the filter resets. So you can go back in here and go, okay, with that search criteria i want to do it by being tagged somewhere i can do it by the year i can do it like i did before post you've seen most recent and it really it's really cool because you can do it by specific words which is awesome um let's see uh birthday so if i'm looking for birthday say birthday so here's a whole bunch where i had birthdays in the word so it searches just like google would search or your word document would search for a certain word in your word document it does the same thing and it pulls those posts up okay so now let's say you found the one you want to look at which is fine so we're going to go over here so you can either click on it to look at it you can click the three dots next to it on the right here on the actual post you can save that post since i didn't post that i was tagged in it it does it this way and if you go down here, you can do this, same thing. Now, if I posted it, here's one I posted. If I go to three dots, it just lets me save post. The other one says, find support or repost, uh, report post, so if it's something I didn't like. But if you wanted to see the post, you just click right down on the post. So anywhere, if you put it down where the post is, you can click on it. It's where it'll take you directly to the original post. So I'm gonna click on this one. There, now we're here. Now, the cool thing about this, now you're on the original post, which means you found it. So you're going to go up to the top right with the three dots again. 
and click on that, now I have more choices because I'm actually on the original post. Since I posted this, I can edit the post, I can edit the audience, I can delete the post, I can turn off notifications for this post, I can edit the date for some reason, I can save the post. So I get a lot more options when it's my post. Now let me show you what happens when it's not my post. We're gonna go back again. So we're gonna go back on screen. Okay, now we're gonna do one like here. This is my brother. So we're gonna go click on that. It opens up the original post. And there, it gives me some more options than it did before. So I can delete the post. So I don't wanna see that post anymore. Um, we can also turn off notifications for this post. Like usual, we can snooze my brother for 30 days, which <laughs> would be kind of fun. Um, <laughs> He wouldn't like that. I think I'd be mad at him or something. Um, I can unfollow my brother. <laughs> Sorry, that's just fun. Uh, and find support or, um, or report the post. So if I was really mad at him, I'd report this post, but I won't do that. So there you go. That's really how simple it is to search your own profile page for posts that you were connected to, tagged in, liked, laughed at, whatever, by specific words and names which makes it really really fun because you can find things that you forgot about like if you're like i know i posted that like 20 years ago well it's not that long but a while back i wonder i remember what it was about so you can put certain the keywords in that you remember and most likely you'll find it so that's kind of how that works the search feature on your on your profile page i love it it's it's great to use don't forget about the filters on the side the filters to the left are very helpful especially if you want to do it by date if you remember i did it last year i want to pull it up this is kind of what you want to look at so all this is it's real simple go in there find those posts you guys lost if the activity log does not have it and i'll put the link down below like i said before to look at that video so if you want to learn how to use activity log i kind of give a brief overview of how to use that go down there and check it out and then you'll notice that the search feature is kind of nice. That's why I said go to your profile page and do the search because it's it's easier to find things that way, I find. So that's kind of where I go most of the time. But I go to the activity log and see what's going on. But this this is a really, really cool way to search for those posts that you want to find that you totally forgot about. There you go. And that's how easy it is. Okay, since now we know how to do it on the website itself, on your laptop or your computer, now let's hop on over to my Android phone, Samsung Galaxy A20, and we'll jump on the app. So head on over there. Okay, now I'm on my Samsung Galaxy A20 phone, my Android phone. So now you want to open up Facebook's Facebook app on here. Tap on your Facebook app. Now once you're in here, you need to go to your profile page like you did before on the computer. You can either hit your picture right up here it will take you directly to it or you can hit the hamburger menu at the top right you can tap on that and actually there's your profile right at the top tap on that so either way we'll get you there so once you're in here same thing but this time you're gonna have to go to those three little dots next to your add to story button so right over here we're gonna tap on that and that's gonna open this up and if you look at the very bottom, so profile settings is here then you're gonna go down the list all the way to here where it says search profile very simple tap on that and now we're in the search, same thing we did before. You can type something to the top. So I'm gonna say games, how about that? We'll do that, games. Well, that's not games. That's what happens when you're doing this with one finger. Games, okay. Now I'm gonna hit the, the little search button right here. There you go, now it pulled up all the ones with games in it. So you're gonna look down here, you can scroll down through your list. And same thing with you do here, the filters are at the top. So you have filters, we tap on filters right here. It's gonna pull up the filter list and you can do it by post you've seen, most recent, uh, tag location, date posted, which is by the year. It doesn't do it by exact month or day, it just does it by the year. Very simple, now if you get rid of that, go away. Okay, we're gonna go back up here. You're gonna look at the top here and you're gonna see uh, post you've seen, most recent, you can tap on those, it changes what's going on here. Um, you can even tap on that one and so you have both those on there. I'm going to get rid of that. And there's one more, which you'll see. I don't do that. See, it is. So if you um, swipe over, you can look at other ones. They have different ones up here. Most recent, tag location, date like you had before. So if we click on date, it's going to give you the same thing we did before by year. Just another way to get to your um, filters. So you can go through it the same way. So just like we did on the computer, you can actually tap on, to take you to the original, tap on the post, the original post pops up and you get the options with the three dots in the corner, just like you did on the computer. And it will give you some options. Since I posted this one, this is what it's gonna offer. 
save post, delete, edit post, edit privacy, copy the link, all that stuff. So if it's not yours, you'll get different options. So we'll go back and go back over here. And then if I scroll down a little bit, let's see if I can find something that I was tagged in. Doesn't look like I have. I think games is, the, I'm the only one that does games, so that makes sense. Let's find my brother again. We'll do that here. So we're going to go back. I'm going to find my brother. Going to go, yeah, where are you, buddy? Oops, that's not his name. There we go. See, you better know your brother's name. That might be bad at the holidays. Hit search. And again, here it is. So this is his post. So I'm going to tap on his post. Like here. And now you'll see the post pops up. And then you can go like this. And it gives you those options. So see, just as easy to do it on your phone as to do it on your computer. I think that's really nice that they made it just as simple on your computer and on your phone. Um, so that's it. That's all you have to do to actually search your profile on Facebook. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.